<laughs> Hello. Oops. Hello, I'm Amy the Bunny Lady, and this is my partner Elusive. It's Ellie for short. <laughs> and we're here to teach you how to have a happy and healthy bunny in your home. So today uh, I want to talk about how to uh, interact with shy bunnies and bond with them and teach them to love you and trust you. I volunteer at an animal shelter and I work to socialize rabbits uh, quite a lot. And understandably a lot of rabbits in the shelter uh, are very, very shy at first and are not quick to come up to people. So I have a lot of experience teaching these rabbits how to, um, how to like slowly learn to trust people and it does take a little bit of time it's not something that happens overnight but but rabbits um given the time can learn to trust you and bond with you and love you um just like uh, any other rabbit shy rabbits can come out of their shell and it's really really great to watch but you do need to do some work to make sure that um so make sure that you can teach these rabbits that you are a trustworthy person and that people and that um, they don't need to be scared of you. I'm going to kind of give you a version of this that when you bring your rabbit home what you want to do like set up the environment how you want to interact with them so that you can teach them to trust you. This is going to be especially true of a rabbit that is already shy like a rabbit that is um, that has been well socialized and um, is good with people already won't need as much time to get used to you in your home so might only need a couple days but a rabbit that is shy and doesn't uh, like to and doesn't um, that seems to run away from you or shy away uh, kind of hiding on themselves uh, may need more time to get used to you and your environment so I'm gonna give you the steps you need to take so that they can learn to trust you and um, over time uh, become a really <laughs> awesome and happy part of your family so first some tips for the setup uh, you want to make sure that you put your rabbit into an, uh, a quiet environment. So if you have um, a large family or if you have any parts of your house that have a lot more foot traffic that goes back and forth, you might want to consider putting rabbit somewhere else, somewhere that's going to be a lot quieter. Uh, that's <laughs> You need to stop. <laughs> You're silly. You're silly. So you're going to want to put your rabbit in a <laughs> in, an, in a place that is quieter so that they won't have all of this uh, noise and distraction scaring them like 24 7. You'll give them time to relax and get used to the place that they live in. You're also going to want to make sure that they have some uh, what I call it hidey houses. Um, so the essentially places where your rabbit can hide. Um, so they can be something like this, um, it's, it's a wooden thing that they can go in and hide, but even something as simple as, um, a cardboard box where they can go in and hide. that's big enough for them to go in and hide, um, like a cardboard box on its side. That is also okay. You don't have to spend money on something like this, but you definitely want to have at least one of those in their enclosure and then also one or two of them in uh, their exercise area so that they have places where they can run to and hide and feel safe because the goal here is to get your rabbit to trust you and in order to get a rabbit to trust you they need to come up to you of their own volition it needs to be their choice to come out and come up and uh, approach you so always give them a place to hide so that they can feel safe and then once they start to feel safe they'll start to get curious and come up and approach you you also want to make sure you have some treats because when your rabbit does come up and approach you, you want to reward that behavior and say, yes, this is good and make them associate that behavior and you with yummy things like treats. Get dried banana chips, dried strawberry chips, dried papaya. You can also even use uh, fresh foods like uh, cut up a carrot into little pieces. Uh, you do want to use little pieces because too many sugary treats, <laughs> too many treats can end up uh, being bad for the digestive system so you do want to cut things up into little bite-sized pieces for your rabbit if your rabbit is going to be running around at all on any slippery floors so if you have hardwood floors or bathroom floor or a kitchen floor make sure you either put an aerial rug down or you can put a couple towels down um, but something that will give their feet traction because rabbit feet don't do well on slippery surfaces and while they can learn to do better on them it can be kind of scary at first because they'll go to <laughs> 
they'll go to put their feet onto the slippery surface and then start going forward and then they won't want to go any further because it'll be like scary <laughs> be like no and so you just make sure you have something for your rabbit's feet so that they can still exercise uh, without without feeling scared of the floor that they're standing on <laughs> and then the last thing you want to make sure with your enclosure set up you want to make sure that your enclosure has a, a way for them to get out without you picking them up and lifting them out you want it to um, either be something like this pen that is just on the floor or um, an enclosure that has a door that opens like on the side rather than something that opens on the top you also want to put the enclosure on the floor level um, or have a ramp so that the rabbit can get down on their own if it's not on floor level. So those are some tips for the setup so that you can be ready for success when you bring your rabbit home. All right, now let's go into the actual steps that I use to teach rabbits to trust me. Now the first step is uh, very simple. Uh, it's just take one of your treats that you have, make sure your rabbit sees you, and then leave the treat kind of next to where your rabbit is or at the either at the front of their enclosure right outside the house the Heidi house um, and and then go away <laughs> and that's it that's all I want you to do the first day don't try to interact with the rabbit do not try to pick them up just leave a treat and go away and you can do that a few times during the day you want to check to make sure your rabbit is actually eating the treat making sure it's a treat that they like and you do want to make sure your rabbit sees you because you want them to associate you with the treat not just oh a treat magically appeared but it's a you are giving me the treat so that they know that good things come from this person when they approach and the goal is to both uh, teach them that you are not scary and you're not going to come and try to pick them up every time you go interact with them and um two you want to teach them that um if they you don't want that when they come out of their enclosure they can get the treat uh, sort of thing so kind of reinforcing that behavior okay now after um, a day or two it kind of depends on your rabbits disposition like if they're super shy you want to you might actually want to give this a whole week before you move on to step two after your rabbit seems to you know be okay with um, coming out and getting the treat we can move on to step two you want to sit on the floor either out in their enclosure like I am right now if it's big enough or right outside of their enclosure so you want to leave the enclosure door open sit there and wait for them to approach you essentially you're not gonna pick them up you're not gonna try to pet them you're not gonna try to hold them you're just going to wait to see what they do and if they come up to you you give them a treat now a couple tips to help with this a you're gonna want some hidey houses around um, the one in their enclosure and also a couple around um, in the, the area so that you know they have other places to hide if they want to you're gonna want the treats and what you can do to encourage a rabbit to come out a little bit is kind of leave a trail of treats almost like leave a one treat right right near where their hidey house is and then uh, put another one a little farther away and kind of have it leading up to you that will encourage them to kind of come up more and then always have one in your hand also so that when they come up to you there will be one in your hand and um, if they take it from your hand that's awesome and you can go get another one so that then the next time they come up to you they can get another treat from your hand this usually works for actually very well uh, and the rabbit will start to come up to you sometimes they're still pretty shy and like they'll like snatch it from your hand and then run away again uh, and that that will just take time um, that is how uh, Ellie was when she first when she first moved in with me um, she was a super shy rabbit and would like sneak up to me grab the treat from my hand and then run back away but eventually after a couple weeks she learned that it's not so scary and she could stay around and be pet this the step could end up taking quite a while depending on the personality of your rabbit sometimes they can be quite shy and it will take a long time for them to really get used to coming up to you and trust you not to like pick them up so uh, it's a good idea to have like a book with you or something quiet that you can watch or read while you're waiting for your rabbit to get curious and come up to you now you do want to make sure that it's a quiet thing so don't have any kind of movie playing that has like you can use headphones for a movie but don't have anything playing that's going to be loud and noisy because that will end up scaring the rabbit away so whatever you're doing just make sure that it's quiet soft talking is okay like like saying hi to your rabbit or something like that but make sure that you're 
pretty quiet, not moving too quickly. Um, sometimes, especially at first, even just moving a little bit, <laughs> even just moving a little bit can scare them. So just try to slow down your movements so that they get used to um, the fact that you are a person and you move and they will <laughs> eventually, um, they'll eventually learn to trust you and come up to you more easily. Now, step two can end up taking a couple weeks. Um, I would say on average with the shelter rabbits, it can take, hmm, Maybe, yeah, probably one to two weeks on average, depending on the rabbit. Some rabbits, like, they're fine within a couple days, and then some rabbits, it can take a couple months. Um, like Ellie, that was actually why I decided to bring her home, because she was a very shy rabbit and just was not getting used to people in the shelter environment, and she needed someplace quiet to really come out of her shell. So some rabbits like her, it can take quite a number of months before they do. Um, it's that much more rewarding when, when you see them so happy. Okay, now once your rabbit comes up to you uh, without too much hesitation, they'll come and take the treat and they won't run away right away, you can move on to step four, or step three. <laughs> move on to step three. This is when you can start to pet your rabbit. Now you're still not picking them up, but um, this you want them to get used to like a hand coming towards them and petting them. So first you're going to, as you're giving them the treat, so they're coming up to your hand to give you to get the treat from your hand, as you're doing that, you're going to slowly move your move your hand towards them and give them one pat on the head and then move your hand away. And give them one pat on the head and then move your hand away. Now some rabbits are going to get really scared of anything, any hand moving towards them. So if, if you, like, you move your hand towards them and they run away, that's fine. Don't chase them. Wait for them to come back for the treat and then try again. And then uh, until they get used to your hand going towards them and give them giving them one pat on the head and then just one pat on the head until they get used to that that's all you're gonna do after they kind of stop flinching away from you that's when you can kind of give them little scritches and then um, move to behind their ears also and then uh, wait to see how they react to that if they are okay with that then you can try doing more and then uh, try petting them more giving them a massage that kind of thing uh, continue to do that, watch your rabbit's body language, give them pets, and um, sometimes they'll run away and you have to go back to step two um, and get them to come back to you again, and that's fine. Do what you gotta do, but eventually they'll learn to not be afraid of your hand and they'll start to really enjoy the petting. That's when you know your rabbit trusts you, when you can reach towards them and pet them without any problem and they will they don't run away and they're, they're just very happy to sit there with you. And that's when you know you have succeeded. Yay, congratulations. <laughs> and now on to step four, which is keeping your rabbit's trust. So now that your rabbit is okay with coming up to you and letting you pet them and uh, sitting next to you so that you can interact together, uh, you want to make sure that you don't kind of ruin it and have to go back to square one. So A, after they trust you, you can start picking them up a little bit but you don't want to all the time. Make sure that the majority of your interactions with your rabbit do not involve you picking them up because they, almost all rabbits do not like to be picked up. So if every once in a while you want to pick them up or every once in a while you have to pick them up, whether they like to trim their nails or to get them out of some place where maybe they shouldn't, maybe they got into and shouldn't be, that's okay, start doing that, but still make the majority of your interactions just petting them or just like sitting with them on the floor. And that's another thing you should do. Always, if you can, keep yourself down at their level. Usually that's sitting on the floor, sometimes on the sofa, rabbits will like to hop up onto a sofa and just make sure they have a choice in the interaction. And that's how you can keep their trust. And then also just continue to keep their environment calm and quiet so that they're not going to get scared of just uh, their living situation. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can know when my next videos come out. I'll be putting a new video out every week. And you can also check out my blog because I will have more tips and tricks about rabbits and rabbit care every week. And thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. <laughs>